when I became a partner in my late 20s, the primary reason I became a partner is because like any reason someone becomes a partner, you have the ability to keep long-term relationships with senior clients who are willing to spend a lot of money with you for your firm and your teams within the firm to solve their problems. I developed systems and techniques that allowed me to be successful with clients. And this is the big thing. It would really be a situation where I'd be going into a client and I'd be testing something for the first time. I had a system, I had a process, and I'd perfected that and I'd used it very well with a number of major clients for the firm and we had built them up into significant clients within a short period of time. Often new clients that we've never had before. Because of that, I was asked to serve in two roles. So one is I was asked to play a role in rethinking how the strategy practice would engage clients. The second one, I was asked to play a role in thinking about how we could have greater interaction with clients. Now, we would call that marketing, for lack of a better word, but we never use those terms. We wanted to find ways to engage clients on a deeper level. The traditional route, and if you've worked in consulting or you worked in any services business, you know this to be pretty common. The firm had a culture of developing insights. It's all about insight-driven interaction. So there'd be a lot of articles put out, a lot of books put out. In fact, if a new insight came out, it was a reason to meet a client. And this created a culture of everyone pushing forward insights. They would want insights. And in fact, it reached this point whereby if there were no insights, you'd have certain younger partners and so on having this mindset that if there's nothing new or no new insight to talk to a client about, there's no reason to meet a client. Now, the reason why this had percolated into being a strategy is because there was a belief that if you had deep insights, you would gain the credibility or you'd have credibility in the eyes of the client, you would gain their trust and they'd want to work with you. That is not true as we found out. Insights are important to clients, but there's something else they are looking for when they want to work with you. So if you want to convince someone to do something, in services businesses like consulting, it was always about, we have the best insights, work with us. So one of the changes I made is what I want to teach in the executive presence, gravitas, and so on program is I want to teach what it is you need to show people at a senior level to get them to want to work with you. And it's not about insights. I mean, when I first started out, when I was an associate and engagement manager and so on, and I was young and I thought insights were everything, I was never as good at building relationships with clients whereby they would hire us. But once I made this pivot and the shift, things changed. And the key thing about this pivot and shift is it's sustainable. If you're constantly looking for new insights, it becomes a very, very draining process. But it's not why clients hire you, it's not why you influence people, it's not why you change the way they think. And we're going to explore that in this program and I'll teach that framework and approach.